Well, howdy there, boys. Welcome back to another video. My name's Tyler, go by Zany Online, and um, just in case you can't see the whiteboard behind me, I'm not Luke Smith, even though I don't blame you for thinking so. It's all right. And uh, DT, if you're watching this, what's up, Dad? Now, um, I switched over to Void Linux, and I kind of really like it. Um, the install was nice, straightforward. Um, just in case you're going to try out Void, I will go ahead and say the parts where you actually format your drives, you know, whether it be VFAT, EXT4, etc. Um, you're the changes that you make there, even though it's successful and it is going to change it, it won't reflect the changes that are going to be made until you move on to the next step install. So I can definitely see that being a little confusing for some, but Void Linux so far is really nice. It, it, it is really nice. Run it, uh, which is Void's init system, is fast. Um, I really like the way it functions. It's essentially just sim links uh, to a specific folder. It's I believe it's var slash service. And so you're just going to sim link any service you want to start to there. And it works just fine. Um, if you're like me and you like to use Network Manager, do pay attention like i mean this this is really basic information for every distro but like read the documentation because for network manager you do also have to enable and start the service for dbus so that network manager will work perfectly fine if you don't read the documentation and skip that little step yeah yeah um, it, it well network manager is just gonna spit out some errors but wi-fi is working fine here um it's a little bit more minimal, like even though it's not worth, you know, much or um, really not representative of that much at all. Um, the, I mean, my package size is a little bit smaller um, or, or package count, I guess I should say. It's a little bit smaller. RAM usage is on average about uh, 200 to 300 megabytes less. So it's nice there. Um, to be honest, I'm really not gonna show off my desktop or anything like that when it comes to void just because um if you've seen my older videos and i'm i'm not saying like go back far but just my, you could watch practically all eight of my last videos and if i show up my desktop there it looks the exact same here i'm using the same mono fur font i'm using the same blue like in dark sort of blue color scheme um inside the only thing that's really changed is i'm using alacrity but let's be honest um, if you use ST and seen me use it, I still have the Pokemon color script in it. Um, it's same thing, same, same everything. It's just, I'm, I'm using Alacrity and that, that's about it. I mean, it's the only real change I've made. And again, Alacrity set up the same way my ST config was. So there's nothing really appearance wise that's different. And, um, I've stopped doing it, but, uh, just in case you're wondering just how much of a degenerate I am, um, switching over here, there's, uh, XBPS is the package manager. So to install something, you're going to do like XBPS dash install, and you could put the name of the package, but, um, I was told it's just better to give it the dash capital S flag, just like Pac-Man. So you, you know, can actually install the dependencies for the program that you're going to pull down, which is probably important. So um, I always do that. But I anyway, I just, when I first started using Void for, I mean, a solid like eight hours uh, after using it, I was still having uh, XBPS under or dash install uh, dash S map to Pac-Man dash S or alias to Pac-Man dash S and um, XBPS dash remove dash capital R map to the Pac-Man equivalent. So it was literally like I never left Arch. So, I mean, there's that, but um, dude, it, it's nice. I like it. I don't really have any problems. Um, everything works um, as expected. And I don't know that I'm going to move away from it only because the, the main issue that I've experienced in a lot of other distributions where if I have stuff like my Blue Yeti right here, um, the webcam plugged in at boot, the internal sound card will just register as a dummy output and I don't get anything from it. Um, here on Void, 
that's not an issue. I could have all my shit plugged in and I just turn it on and it'll, it'll, it, it still detects the sound card. Um, pulse audio works. Uh, I've described it a few times uh, before making this video, but here pulse audio is like it, it, the, the experience here on void when it comes to pulse audio is pulse audio's wet dream, like where they really have a, a piece of software that just works for audio. Um, I'm, I'm not experiencing any issues with pulse audio. Um, I am going to go ahead and knock on wood there. Cause me saying that could screw it up, but so far works great. Love it. Um, the only sort of downside or thing that doesn't work quite right on, um, void is discord and it's, it's not unusable. I, I I'm, I'm still using it. It's just you, you, on, on void discord's not in the repositories um as far as i know there's like some source repository that you could do some weird messing around to get working but no nah, you can just download the tar straight from their website and extract that out and then simlink it to your path so that you could run it just like a regular program but the problem with the discord tarball that you're going to pull down is well, at least in my case, I don't know about you guys, but for me, um, my microphone and uh, webcam, either, either built into the laptop or the separate nicer ones I have, none of them worked in Discord's downloaded desktop client. Now, that being said, I've just been using the web client. Works fine. Works perfectly fine. Um, don't have any problems. The video audio works fine. Um, but I know a lot of you guys... Uh, particularly the ones who, you know, don't interact with me on Discord, aren't even interested in Discord, so this is something that's not even relevant. But if you are, just know, just use the web client, everything works. Um, which is odd, because normally the web client gives you much more issues than the desktop client. But anyway, uh, Discord's working on here. It's just, I'm doing it, the, the way in which I'm going about using Discord is just slightly different. Um, but yeah, everything's working. Um, it's it's a nice system. It's fast. Um, the boot time is really impressive. Um, it's, 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 it's very fast, very fast. I really like it. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything just works. I, I, I'm liking it. And I don't know if void is one of those things where I don't really necessarily want to recommend it to just anyone out there. Cause if you're going to be using void, it, it's one of those distros where it's, Pretty much along the lines of arch where you don't throw somebody who's you know been using linux for like a week or two into void that would just not be a, for most people a good idea you know uh sim links take a little bit of time messing around in linux to fully understand i mean you probably hear about it you know even in your first week or so in linux but um i i don't know i i like it the way in which you go about managing services and everything is really nice. It's really clean. I like it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it when it comes to void, uh, for me personally, uh, I'm liking it. Um, it's much better. It was either, uh, I was either going to do a void, uh, and if void gave me a whole bunch of problems, uh, give Jen to another try and thank God void is awesome. So yeah, uh, not having to try out Jen too. I know I'm going to get a shitload of comments just because I said that, but yeah. Um, Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, let me know what you thought of Void, uh, if you've tried it out or if you're considering trying it out or why you won't check it out. You know, just give me a little bit of feedback. You know, l let me know what you think. And uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you really dislike it and think I should change my look, uh, hit that dislike button. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I always forget this too. Um, patrons, Thank you very much for your support. It's much appreciated. Um, if you want to join my fantastic Patreon page, which needs to be uh, given some more attention, you can hop over there and check it out. It's much appreciated. Um, but so is just hitting the like button and commenting. It, it definitely lets YouTube know that people actually like it. So thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.